love talking golf. And Gary Otto loves talking golf. He's the uh, head professional, the boss, the Grand Kahuna at Riverton Golf Club. <laughs> Riverton Golf Club, you say? Where's that? Well, it's an Okatee. It's the oldest new course or the newest old course yeah. <laughs> in, in the area. Tell us a little bit about Riverton. Yeah, great history. Like you said, the newest old course in existence, probably. The uh, It started out about 14 years ago, and the downturn in the economy right. affected all the builders. So uh, Toll Brothers, who are the owners of the property, um, decided to just put everything on a Paul situation for a little bit, decided a couple of years ago to resurrect it. So they brought in Club Corp, which is now invited okay. to come in. We redid the greens, we redid the bunkers. Uh, it's a gorgeous golf course. I mean, it, it, it is, it, it looks like it has aged, even though it's two years old. It looks like it's matured and gotten, gotten the newness out of it, and yet it's still new. That, that was the really cool feature of it, yeah. was to, uh, we opened the doors, the greens are in great condition, and, uh, we redid all the bunkers, so everything's pristine, but, uh -huh. it, but it has that, it's been here for 15 years a little, yeah, yeah. very mature. Not a public course, private course yes, still, sir. but you've got a chance to see it, and we all love to see new golf courses, don't we? Uh, this weekend, coming up for free, uh, be, and watch some fantastic golf. You just had the Big East women in, and now you got the Big East men coming in this weekend. Yeah, the, the ladies were fantastic. Um, as you mentioned, they finished up this past week. We had, we had some really exciting things happen. We had uh, one lady from uh, Creighton came out and shot a 67 on Ooh. round two, which was our course record right. for the ladies' tee, obviously. And then it also tied the uh, the course record for the Big East Championship. Okay. And she was the medalist, which was she's the first one to ever be the repeat medalist. Okay. So Then well, you had to repeat winner as a team. We had to repeat. Xavier uh, came in, got a four-peat. That's the first team in history uh, for the ladies to have a four-peat. Prior to that, it was a, a three-peat. And this is the conference tournament. Winners go on to the NCAA. Yes, I mean, exactly yeah. right. Yeah, the winner advances to the NCAA, so it's kind of a big deal for them. Now, the men come in. What are we going to see? You're going to see some great golf. Yeah. Uh, like you mentioned, it's uh, missions free for the public to right. come out. I'd love to have people come out and, and join them on. And the... Uh, Probably the, the atmosphere you're going to see um, is very yeah. relaxed. Yeah. You know, you, you'll see parents out there. You'll see grandparents sure. out there. You, you can get pretty up close and, and watch some really good shots. Uh, I'd encourage people to come out and watch them on the range as well. Mm -hmm. uh, most of the tee times start around 8 o'clock. Okay. And uh, it is just very Tour-esque quality yeah. golf. Who's the, who's the favorite? Oh gosh! Uh, some Who are people, you looking at? Who people, are you putting your money on? <laughs> I, would, I would have to go. Believe it or not, they finished second quite a few times, yeah. but. Uh, Seton Hall's the defending champion, but Marquette okay. during some practice rounds looked pretty good out there. So okay. Seton Hall Marquette would be okay. Well, yeah, and favorites. again, it's it's the Big East uh, teams, so it's the ones you see in basketball, and they'll all be down here. Uh, and I bet the alumni clubs of uh, every one of those schools that are here in the Low Country are going to have their folks out uh, waving and cheering them on. That that was one of the most impressive things for me. Our owners, Toll Brothers, have been 100% behind this event. Yeah. We also have some model homes out there. As spectators sure. want to come in, if they want to view the golf course, that's great. The model homes are open every day from 10 to 5, 12 to 5 on Sunday. They're welcome to, to do that as well. And what I'm really proud of is the way the community embraces this tournament. We had over 50 of our members volunteer to make this happen, along with about a dozen from Kalawasi. Do you need any more volunteers, or are you good on that? I think we're good on that. Okay. Uh, people can uh, please give me a call at the yeah. golf shop, and I'll be happy to put you on the list you know, in case someone gets sick or is not yeah. able to work. But okay. great community involvement. It's been fantastic. Yeah, th this is, again, a really cool hidden gem that's actually kind of right out in the open. I mean, you guys are in the middle of what is going to be over the next 10 years, the huge growth area, uh, kind of northwest of the intersection of 170 and 278. Yeah, we used to be considered out there now, we're now <laughs> and as you know we're now the hub we're 15 minutes from Buford 10 or 12 minutes from Bluffton 30 minutes from Savannah minutes from I-95 so the location we Instead of being out, we're, we're no longer the long spoke, we're the hub. All right. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> the Riverton Golf Club hosting the Big East Men's Championship this weekend. Just took care of the women before. Gary Otto, great to talk to you. Uh, can't wait to watch them play. It's going to be fun. Look, look forward to seeing you out there. All right. Take care. We'll be back with more of the WHHI Daily News right after this.